Hello everyone, um, my name is Narda3, and today we are going to make a nuclear reactor in the Technic, Technic mod pack. So, this is the nuclear reactor right here, well, this is the casing that we're going to put the nuclear reactor in. Now, um, just first off, I'll make some announcements. Uh, I have recently acquired, I bought a new computer. Ah, my legs. A new computer, so lots of uh, hopefully lag free. Um, I need to put some more RAM into it, but uh, for the moment, for the time being, it can run most things pretty good. But and uh, yeah, we should be putting out some new videos very soon. Um. So let's just start off with this. This is a casing. This is made out of reinforced stone. I need some armor on. Let's see. Um. So these are. This is reinforced stone. And if we go into creative, as you can see, it is too thick. So too thick is the amount that you want your nuclear reactor to be. That's out of reinforced stone or reinforced glass to ensure that it won't blow up the surrounding countryside. Um, as the bottom is not yet too thick, so we will do that soon. But the sides are here because that is also important. So we will make the bottom too thick real quick. I rhymed. It wasn't supposed to. Be. Alright, day on oh, three. That's why it's in creative. Um, the reinforced stone, I'm not sure how difficult it is, but it's definitely like obsidian uh, trying to break it, so it's kind of difficult. It'll take you a while, and it e even, even takes a while with the uh, red matter. With the red matter um, things, and these are the best. Pickaxes and such in the game. I think these are uh, what mod is this? I'm not sure. Um, so that's just the base. This is where we will put the reactor in. In here, so I made this. I made it a little bit too big. I was gonna make it five by five, but it's uh, looks like it's seven or eight. Five, six, seven. Yeah, seven by five. So that's not exactly the way I wanted it to be, but it is good enough. Now, looks like I'm getting some frame rate drops. Just um, put down the smooth light. Okay, so that one. So, okay. When you make your nuclear reactor case, you want to leave a few holes, either for door, oh, either for doors or for the pipes and the power lines that are going to go in there. So. I left uh, one larger hole and two smaller ones, just for good measure. Um, the likelihood that you're going to use three is low, unless you want to have a double door, which wouldn't make sense. But um, you need one hole of these to have a pipe going in for coolant, so ice. That's what we will use. Um, industrial craft, which is the nuclear reactor model that we're going to use, um, can have has its own coolant system. It has coolant cells, which you can see over here. Coolant cells, where are you? Uh, here they are. There are coolant cells, and they have integrated heat dispersers and rea integrated reactor plating, which both help to insulate and make sure that the nuclear reactor does not blow up because if it does blow up um, the entire minimap in the top corner will be just a massive crater. I have blown up one before and it's really interesting but if you have any sort of house system or any machinery around it it's not a good time for those. So as you can see now we have a little bit better of a shell um, I'll make this one higher so that everything is two by two. 
So we want all the walls too thick. Because I think I already said this. Pretty sure I did, but the reactor will when it blows up, it will only blow up to reinforce. So here it is. It's pretty nice. So one hole for the coolant and one hole for the energy output and then one hole just for a door or whatever it is you feel like putting here. So that's that's pretty good for the time being. Um when we use reinforced glass it can also be uh two, so everything is two here. Reinforced glass is strangely the same uh resilience as the reinforced stone. But one thing to remember is that if you if you um make everything two by two and leave no outs, leave nothing for the explosion to go out of, it will do a little bit more damage. So the best thing to do is just leave one hole here of glass. So that um the explosion can break through that and the all the energy will go up instead of out and destroy whatever you have around it because usually people don't build stuff on top of the reactors they build it around them now I'll just make it three thick because glass seems shady and I don't see it. I don't really trust it that much so I will do that and then we will get on to the cooling systems now the cooling systems are created by using snow golems and they are instantaneous snow laying technique oh, what is this? oh no and they're instantaneous snow laying techniques so snow golems will make snow almost instantaneously now this is sometimes really good for other things but usually not the best for your countryside or house unless you like snow a lot but in this situation it's really good because you can get instantaneous snowballs and then later transform all those snowballs into um, in a in a compressor you can transform them all into ice blocks and ice blocks are what we use to cool the reactor so just right now I'm making some cages for the snow golems and I will come back later when I have the cages finished Okay, everyone. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Well, awkward. Um, so this is our what is this? This is our snowball making machine. Now I have two snow golem cages here, and underneath I have two block breakers for each cage, and um, what is this? Redstone tubes. Uh, redstone tubes act as pneumatic tubes, and I believe that's from LRMs, I think that's from LRMs, um, mod red power. So these will also carry, this will carry a redstone circuit as well as a, um, as well as items like a buildcraft tube. So let's just make this pipe over there to this pipe and also to this filter. As you can see it is working quite well and the snow golems automatically go in the middle and automatically replace the snow almost immediately. Now let's add a lot of infrared to this because we have something else to make now which is a build craft tube inspired or no buildcraft tubes with where are the buildcraft tubes? I don't see them. I missed them. 
Okay, there, there. So I want obsidian transport, golden transport, and cobblestone transport. Okay, so now using the build craft tools, we construct ourselves a long pipeline all the way back to the very beginning of our all the way just right there we'll just put it right there it's probably the best idea and um, it's the easiest place to put them and put what you're asking um, put the compressors put the uh, industrial craft compressors to compress the snowballs into ice blocks that is what we are doing there. Um, what am I looking for? I am looking for these guys. There we go. It's helpful to put the uh, golden ones in the corners so that it speeds up production a little bit better. So, since we'll just put them right here. Everything looks pretty good right there. I will set the compressors up in a second, and then you'll see how they're supposed to work. Okay, so now I have all my blocks that I'll need here. Um, we're going to use the Singularity Compressors. We're using the Singularity Compressor because it can handle higher, higher voltages, so we don't have to transform it from the uh, from the high voltage all the way down to low voltage. We only need to tr transform it down to what do we need to transform it down to? We only need to transform it down to medium voltage. And um, also for this we are also going to use filters because the filters will take the finished, well not, yeah, the finished cubes out, wait, yeah, the finished cubes out and we'll put them in to a redstone, a red tube here, which will then pump them out all the way to the reactor, so it'll be a while. Or we can make it faster and use this system here with golden pipes. So what we'll need for this is we'll need some advanced insertion tubes because those are more helpful for this. Well, it turns out that I had the right pipe. I just forgot to put a golden pipe here because it seems like the golden pipe can um, connect any two random pipes. So it'll connect these two. So that's what you should use for that. Just use your or uh, your advanced insertion pipes and put a golden pipe there instead to put them both together. On the other side here we will need the um, need this to go back around for another row of them. So it sometimes takes a little bit of engineering for this uh, these pipes here. They are kind of complicated, and these aren't all from the same mod. I think the advanced insertion pipe is from a different one. That or this one is from an actual one. And there's there are some other pipes that I know are from a not Goldcraft, but are from in fact um, some um, some other third guy who uh, made them very good and compatible with the original buildcraft ones. What we want next are is lava. We want some lava because we can't have excess snowballs just sitting out here all day. And as you can see, we have some snowballs in there. Um, hmm. Next, we need to make sure that our singular decompressors are, are all are all um, powered. So we will put some 
2x2, 2x insulated, 2 times insulated, high voltage cables here. You can also put, I believe, just the normal copper stuff. I think if you down the voltage all the way to mm, medium voltage that it's okay to use copper. Although I wouldn't take a chance and I would just use this normal uh, high voltage stuff here. It's just easier and uh, you don't have a chance of all your compressors blowing up. Because that's what happens if you do that. So I'll just put some torches here just to make sure that they're always on. And now we need to put our filters here, which we'll need to fix with the screwdriver because they are facing the wrong direction. Uh, the big end always goes in uh, facing the object that you're taking the object from. So for the chests and compressors, obviously the larger end of the or the larger hole for here for the filters goes towards the compressors. And not, these are all simple there. And next we will need to put redstone pipe here. And then we put a timer there. And it may not work. Yeah, that's true. It will not work there because we need to put it connecting with some based in the wrong direction, obviously. Good. We need to face it there with some red alloy. Uh, red alloy wire and our insulated wire. There. And as you can see, all the filters are working. Now, there are some way crazier systems that can be made. Which are made by uh, weather. Which are made using some very interesting block detectors from this same mod, also. What is happening? Interesting, interesting stuff here. Ooh, okay, that's not safe, but you know, I don't want. So the uh, this pipe here will basically go all the way to the reactor which is over there and there will be another pipeline coming from the reactor that's going to this one and next I will show you how to make the how to make the um, transformers and also the power storage units but I believe that will be for an, another episode because this one's getting pretty long and I've shown you already so much. So I hope this helps for those people who are trying to make their own nuclear reactor. And remember this one, this one is supposed to be way down here. So just give it like 500 there. That's how fast it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be quite fast. And as you can see, it has a very high output of snowballs. And these all get put in here. And this fills up quite quickly. So, um, 
Make sure don't not to have this timer on until you are ready to. Make sure this timer on, isn't on until you are ready to have the compressors here start up. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad time. So yeah, for next episode, I will show you how to create, how to basically turn on the reactor and how to connect everything together and make everything run properly. Thank you for watching. Um, join us for next episode. S subscribe if you like it. Like if you like it. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I uh, will go over the next episode, hopefully. And I know that I kind of went over this pretty fast. and I talked very quickly, but I hope you got the main gist of it. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. And goodbye.